Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary for this week's Monday Moment. We create these short episodes to help start your week on fire, baby, with a quick burst of inspiration. I'm going to get into that quick burst in a moment by beginning with a story from three years ago, Christmas morning. Beth and I had worked diligently to get the house ready to get the kids, ready to get the presents wrapped, to get them under the tree, to go to bed, what, at 3.30 in the morning, to have little ones make their way into our room three hours later, shake us awake, bring us downstairs. We read from scripture. We open up the presents, drink our coffee, wipe the sleep out of our eyes. And I remember Patrick, he's my second born back then. He would have been uh, maybe eight or so years old. After he opened up his last present, he looked up at me and he said, Dad, is that all? Is that all? We did all this work. We got all the presents on the list. We wrapped them beautifully. We set them under the tree. We went to bed exhausted. We get up even more exhausted. And now you are asking us, is that all? Is that all? But I think within Patrick's question is some wisdom. My friends, this is the busiest time of the year. This is the busiest time of the year. We race through the end of our work season. We race through the holiday season, whether that's Hanukkah, Christmas, the start of the new year. And if we are not careful, we will get to the end of it. We will open up the last present. We will flip the calendar and we will look around us and say, is that all? Is that all? So today, to ensure that does not happen, I want to give you four ways to not just be busy, but to be fully present in the gift of this season. So number one, I'm going to give you four. You may want to write these down. Number one, make a list. Make a list. Every morning, make a list. I have a list of the three most important things that I'm going to do that day. They're seldom the items I choose, but instead, these are the ones that free me to be productive and profitable all day long. I would encourage all of us, myself included, to not confuse being busy with being productive. So make a list on the front side of each day of your lives what is most important to you to accomplish, and then be bold enough to do it. So make that list three things. Get it done. Start there. Start with the big rocks. Secondly, start an alarm. I love using technology. I'm just not married to it. Use your technology well. Because I'm able to do this, I squeeze, I think, a little bit more out of our day than maybe I would have without it. One feature, perhaps surprisingly, that I use with great effectiveness is the alarm. It's my alarm on my smartphone. When it goes off, it is my reminder to focus again on what actually matters. I'm not just talking about getting up in the morning. I actually set four alarms throughout the day. They go off at 9, 30, 1 30, and 3 30. Regardless of what I'm doing, I step away for 60 seconds of quiet reflection. Quiet time helps me to be thankful for what I have to be mindful and actually what matters, and to be asking myself, am I doing right now what matters most? At nine o'clock in the morning, 10.30, 1.30, 3.30, am I doing right now at this moment what matters most? If I am, awesome, get back to it. But frequently for me, and maybe for you too, I find myself wondering, and that little alarm wakes me up to what is happening, what actually matters, and what I can do to refocus. Thirdly, Forget your phone. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but forget your phone on purpose. When I get home at the end of a trip or at the end of a day, I always put my phone on silent. I lose it, baby. This allows me to focus and to engage with the people around me that matter most. Instead of responding to every beep, tweet, ring, vibration, instead, I'm able to savor every laugh, every smile, every moment. So when you get home, forget the phone. Forget it on purpose. That's number three and fourth. And finally, dudes, dudettes, ladies, gentlemen, friends, followers, listeners, stop being so serious. It's my final hack that you uh, can utilize to get it all done. I remind myself that the world will not fall apart if I do not accomplish the tasks at hand. I take a moment to remember that my family's lives, my travel, my work, my problems are not the only ones that matter. 
this gives me the perspective to realize I am just one person on one planet with more than 7 billion other human beings trying to do their very best. This doesn't just take the pressure off, but it drives me to strive to make a greater difference, not only in my life or my wife's life or for my four kids or my parents, but in the lives of the world at large. So stop being so serious about just your little world. It's a big, grand, magnificent, beautiful world out there. Uh, Maybe it's time that we see it through that lens. My friends, in the busyness of this season, it is easy to be stressed out. It is easy to be undone. It is easy to lose focus. And it is easy to get to the end of it and say, is that all? But I'm hoping by going through these four steps, making a list every morning, setting an alarm to remind you what actually matters when you arrive back at home, forget your phone on purpose. And then fourth and finally, stop being so serious. Stop taking it all so seriously. I hope it reminds you what actually matters this holiday season and inspires you to take action on it. If you want to be inspired and renewed in your life, I encourage you today to check out our forthcoming book. It is called In Awe, and you can learn all about this beautiful book and what it means in your life at the website, readinawe.com. Again, people, That is www.readinawe.com. Check it out today. 